In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a gram stain. Hello! First, we need to put on eye protection. Here's my gram stain procedure. My first step will be to apply crystal violet to the slide. That's my primary stain. It's purple. I'll leave that on for one minute, and then I rinse. The second step is to apply Graham's iodine. This is a mordant that will bind with the crystal violet. I leave that on for one minute, and then I rinse. Third step is to apply acetone alcohol. This is a decolorizer. It will remove the purple stain from my Gram-negative bacteria. I run that over the slide for 10 to 15 seconds, and then rinse. My last step is to apply safranin. This is a pink stain that will stain the gram-negative bacteria. It is my counter stain. So I start with a bacterial smear. My slide has been prepared with a gram-positive control on the left, a gram-negative control on the right, and my unknown bacteria in the center. So my first step is to apply crystal violet. This is my primary stain. I let drops of crystal violet fall onto all three of the smears on my slide. Then I wait for one minute. After one minute, I rinse. I want to continue rinsing until the water coming off the slide runs clear. At this point, all of my samples are stained purple with the crystal violet. My next step is to apply the mordant Graham's iodine. I will leave that on for one minute. What the mordant does is it binds with the crystal violet to make a big molecule. This big molecule gets trapped in the many layers of peptidoglycan in the Gram-positive cell wall. Gram-negative cell walls do have peptidoglycan, but fewer layers and the big molecule does not get trapped in the gram-negative cell wall. After waiting one minute, I rinse the iodine off my slide. If you take a look at that slide now, the three circles look a little darker, a little bit darker purple. My next step is to apply the decolorizer acetone alcohol. What this step will do is remove the purple stain from my gram-negative cells. Here's the decolorizer. I like to hold my slide at an angle vertically and drip that decolorizer down the slide. That way I can see the color being removed from the gram-negative bacterial smear. And then I know things are working right. So I let that drip for 10 to 15 seconds and watch that color leave the gram-negative control. Then I rinse. Let's take a look at the slide now. I'm sorry, but it is reversed. I'm holding it upside down, and that puts the gram-negative control on the left, and you can see that the color was removed from that gram-negative control. It also looks like the color was removed from the unknown. My last step is going to be applying safranin. This is a counter stain. My gram-negative bacteria don't have any stain in them at this point, and I need to add a stain so I can see them under the scope. We use safranin as a counter stain because it's pink in contrast to the purple crystal violet. I let the drops of safranin fall onto the slide. 
making sure I cover all three bacterial smears. And then I wait for one minute. At the end of that minute, I rinse my slide. This will be the last stop. Now let's take a look at it. The slide I just prepared has a gram negative unknown. I see my positive control on the left, my negative control on the right, and my unknown in the center is pink, like my negative control. I'd also like to show you an example of another slide that I prepared with a gram positive unknown. You see my positive control on the left, my negative control on the right, and this unknown is purple, like the positive control. I want to gently blot this slide dry. Don't wipe it. You could wipe this bacterial smears off. So gently blot, and then you'll be ready to look at that slide through the scope under oil immersion. All done.